as both of you in your individual roles, what would be one piece of advice, you as the director and then you as production designer, what would be one tip that you would give to future filmmakers who are potentially interested in going into not only a director, but also maybe a production designer? What would be one tip that you would give? Um, tip for me is keeping up the morale on set, like th for the throughout the whole um, a week for us, throughout the whole shoot is really, really important. Um, yeah, because sometimes there's down days, like you have down days um, with crew, with actors, but you've just, um, you and the first AD have got to be the people that, you know, make sure that everyone's having a good time, make sure everyone's um, well fed, you know. Um, everyone loves, like, yeah, to, to not be hungry and, like, mm -hmm. be um, well fed on set and, yeah, just have a good time. Like, sometimes um, things don't go your way, but that's just filmmaking and maybe in the end it'll turn out amazing you never know yeah yeah um probably my thing would be make sure you're uh, you're prepared and you're organized mm. yeah <laughs> before you come on set because product design uh develops a lot in pre-production mm -hmm. and that's when you're like gathering props you're preparing what you're gonna do and i find that the best way to make yourself comfortable and prepared is to be organized and yeah. have everything ready and don't be getting stuff the day before because I'm a bit guilty definitely. of that. Mm. That's, <laughs> a, that's in all areas for sure. Like definitely yeah. be prepared. Um, I know some people don't like, it's like some DOPs don't like to go on the shot list, but I would, well for me, like I'd definitely love to yeah. be prepared, have a shot list, you know. Yeah. Um, and yeah, and just make sure like when you're on set that you're keeping keeping happy like mm. sometimes things don't work out how you imagine sometimes mm. like you put up the wall you put up like the the flats mm. and it's not what you em envisioned in your head but mm. you can always pull some camera magic yeah <laughs> and it, it sometimes looks actually pretty good yeah <laughs> and if you work together like everyone everyone can work together to fix something you know like, yeah like, like um we had a location pull out on the last mm. day and um after everything that had happened throughout the week, we were like, wow, this is the... the it, this really sucks. This is really the last thing <laughs> that's going to happen to us. But, you know, we all had a, like, fighting spirit. We were like, um, you know, we've got to do this. This last day, last scene, um, like, we can do this. So in the end, we um, found a spot at Joel's... Yeah, house. my so, partner's house. Yeah, so Holly's partner's house, Joel. Um, yeah, and that was awesome. We Like, it was so good that he was able to give that to us. Yeah. And then we... Went straight over there. It was really close by, so that was good. And we got all the gear over and just did it, you know. There's always ways to workshop it, ways to figure things out. And, mm. yeah. Well, filmmaking is very much so a... you got to figure it out as you mm. go along sometimes. Yeah. Mm. A, lot of, a lot of times you can have this, you know, this massive plan and you're going to do this, 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 and you're going to mm. accomplish that on this day and then this day you're going to do this. But sometimes things, like you said, don't go your way mm -hmm. and things can fall apart. And as a filmmaker, I feel like it's very important to be resilient yep. and making sure that once something goes wrong, that you put on that problem solving cap and you look for a solution instead of complaining about the problem. Mm. Yeah. And I've noticed this, especially throughout my time at film school, is that a lot of people like to complain about certain things when they don't go your way. Mm. So I feel like as a mentality thing, if you want to be a filmmaker, it's very important to be resilient and always look for the solutions yes. instead of complaining about the problems mm, because you definitely. will never get anywhere if you're focusing on the problems. Yeah. As a filmmaker you know there's always going to be something goes wrong mm -hmm. always and, you know even the best films you've ever seen have had problems oh yeah mm. but it's the creative genius that every filmmaker has that can look around the problem and be like how do we fix this how do we make this better mm -hmm. and i think from there sometimes you can get something like that little piece of magic that you didn't expect yeah yeah but sometimes when you're looking for gold you might find a nugget. Sometimes you might find something even better. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you never know. And that's one of the things I would say to the future filmmakers is just always make sure you're ready to go and um, looking for solutions because yeah. problems will arise and expect them. Mm. But in saying that, always have a plan. Mm. I'll, say, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'll say don't be one of those filmmakers that's like, oh, I'll figure it out on the day. Mm. Yeah. Always come in with a plan. And then once uh, plan A fails, always have a backup plan. So always yeah. have a plan A, B, C, that sort of thing. So yeah. just always be as prepared and organized as possible. Yeah. That would be the one thing I would say. Like, for example, we even had one day um, our makeup artist accidentally did the wrong makeup for the wrong um, scene. And I was, and we didn't notice until halfway through the shoot because we're in this dark room and the makeup was supposed to be um, purple when it was pink eyeshadow. And, you know, it might not seem... It's not a big... It's not necessarily the biggest deal. Um, 
but it was just you know yeah another another obstacle but you just got to get over it you got to fix it um uh bella bella abel was able to like uh quickly get her own purple makeup and fix it herself um so it all turned out well in the end like you've got a problem solve mm. um all the time always be spontaneous yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, and be like optimistic about it as well. Yeah, mm, yeah. having an optimistic attitude is always also very important. I feel yeah. like yeah, yeah, because a lot of filmmakers can be very like pessimistic and be like, oh, it's not going to work. We mm. can't do this. We can't do that. Oh, what was me? <laughs> but if you can kind of have an optimistic perspective and be very positive, mm. like I always try and live my life as positively as possible. And mm. I feel like you know if you can get. Uh, I guess for our situation, we were always working with people that always very positive and had Mm -hmm. a good outlook, not only towards the production, but towards life as well. And I feel like, again, just associate yourself with good people and uh, good work will follow. Yeah, 